Hi, this is Johnny coming with another Bible study. Last week we finished up building your house and the last part of it I told about how Mike had accepted the Lord fully, got delivered and was had gone to Bible college after he and how he had remodeled our house that we would have for retirement, my husband and I, and how thankful I was for his deliverance. But then another storm came and hit my house that came close to blowing it away, but because it was built on a rock, Jesus Christ, it did not fall. We're starting today on protecting your house from pest. Introduction to it is a conversation I had on the phone with Mike. Mike was in Bible college, and then one day I got a call. He had been there for three years, and it was almost the end of the season, and he was about ready to graduate from Bible college. And I got a call from his roommate, and his roommate said, Miss Whittington, I'm, I'm worried. Mike is not here. I don't know where Mike is, and he hasn't been to class for about three days, and I'm concerned about him. And so I prayed about it, and I felt like he would be okay. And then one day the phone rang, and it was Mike. And in the beginning of this book, you'll hear that conversation if you get your book. And Mike was in jail in Kentucky. He had gone back to drugs, crack cocaine. He had gotten into a little trouble, and he was in Kentucky in jail. And it first I wanted to be upset, but it really didn't affect me like it always had in the past. In the past, I would just feel like it was the end of the world when Mike would do that, when he would go back to drugs. But this time, a little voice said, this is only a temporary setback. And I didn't fret over it. It was like God helped me through that. And there was a, a Church of God minister that came into the jail and ministered to Mike and prayed with Mike. He prayed and prayed through about his addictions and God really did a work in his life this time. And the reason I said it was a Church of God minister is because all of my life I was raised in the Church of God. I came to know the Lord Jesus when I was eight years old. My father was a pastor and he began to preach when I was two weeks old. And then he became a state overseer, which they call him state bishop now for the Church of God. And then I married a man that was a Church of God minister. He became a Church of God minister right after we were married, not long. And so I've been in ministry in the Church of God for all these years. Now, I'm not saying it's the only church that's right, but it was the one I grew up in, and it's the one I knew about. And I just thought it was amazing that part of the family of God that was also member, a member of the Church of God was the man that went into that jail and ministered to my son. So I just wanted to say that we have a great big family. Whatever church you're in, if they believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, His death, burial, and resurrection, then we're brothers and sisters in the Lord. And we're a great big family of God. I appreciate that. Today we're going to begin this book, and I just wanted to begin by telling you how I came to write the book. Uh, to begin with, Annette Watson, who wrote the foreword for this Building Your House book, said that now that the house was built, that we needed to, I needed to write another book on how to keep the pest out. And so that's what I've done, how to keep the spiritual pest out of your spiritual house. Well, one day I was riding in the car with a friend of mine. We had gone to a, a women's conference, and on the way she said, on the way home, she said, Johnny, I just feel like the Lord wants you and I to do a women's conference. Have you thought anything about it? And I said, yes, I have. Because Sunday, while I was laying on the couch, about to take a little Sunday afternoon nap, it was like I suddenly would saw myself doing a ladies' conference. And I thought, this is something. I went to church that night, and a friend of mine, her name was Janie, uh, she was a prophetess of God, and she said, Johnny, I feel like the Lord wants to use you in women's ministries with women and having conferences. Have you thought anything about it? 
And I said, yes, it's something that you said, strange that you said that, Janie, because this afternoon, it was like I saw myself doing a women's conference. And so I met with Tricia and we prayed and in just a short time, God had given us the outline for women's conference. And it, we called it Women in God's Army. It was like God showed me the four women that would be in this conference. And I got so excited. Tricia got excited about it. And I knew that a good friend of mine from when we lived in Tampa, Charlotte, would be one of the speakers, and Janie was to be one of the speakers, and I would be a speaker. And so we made up this program. It was like God just anointed me to write it up, what we would do, and and Tricia would be in charge of telling who's in this army of women, God's army, who. And she talked about the women that's in God's army. And then... Uh, Charlotte would talk about the enemy because Charlotte had had some problems with she had had a divorce that almost devastated her she was in uh, depression for like five years and during that time it was like Satan actually attacked her and one night tried to even pull her out of her bed and she felt she thought it she thought her son had come in the room and was trying to pull her from her feet and she could see that it was not her son that nobody that she could see was there but her body was actually dragged part of the way out of the bed and I thought she has experience so she can tell us about the enemy I told about the armor that we put on and I even borrowed my little grandson's armor that he had and at the time I was smaller than I am now and the armor fit me and so I would put on each piece and talk about uh, what part it protected and talk about the armor and then Janie would talk about the outcome of the battle or the victory that we would win through this battle of women in God's army. We did that seminar and took it to several places in Florida. We even took it up to North Carolina and it was such a blessing. And then later uh, I took this outline and was asked to do another seminar uh, here where I live now. And so I took the outline from this book and had four speakers and we did the same, a lot of the same thing. And then one of our speakers, Lisa Henderson, uh, a lady I love dearly and have been in ministry with her also a number of years. She and Ken used to, we would go and minister in different places. And we created this uh, Women Warriors of God. And we took it around Florida and ministered to women. Lisa went ahead with it. She was so good to um, organize our places that we would speak and, and get our appointments. And it was just a great um, blessing to people, to women. I saw a woman like years later that was in that first conference that we had in Jacksonville when we did Women in God's Army. And she said, I have to tell you that that conference changed my life. It totally changed my life. My life was turned around that day. And I was so thankful to know that something I had had a part in and that God had directed to have, that it touched a life. I know that one life was touched, and I believe many other lives were touched as well. And I did hear other testimonies, but that one just seemed to stand out because it was so many years later that I heard it. Next week, we'll, we'll begin by talking about the women in God's army. You know, our warfare started with a woman, and we'll talk about that woman some, and we'll talk about other women will talk about modern day women and Bible women that have been in a struggle and have had to battle our enemy because we do have an enemy and we'll talk about the enemy not next week but we will talk about the outline of this book which comes from scripture so I'll see you next week on Turnaround Tuesday and God bless you this week and if you would like a book so that you can keep up with the lessons 
uh, you can go to Amazon.com, put in my name, Johnny Whittington, and it should come up. Or you can put in Protecting Your House from Pest, and it should come up. With one click, you can order your book, and it will be sent right to your door. So I'll see you next week. Bye for today.